This tutorial will explain how to configure mDaemon to handle DNS server queries. These settings can be found by clicking on DNS on the server settings screen. The DNS configuration screen allows you to specify where mDaemon looks for DNS records of other email servers. A brief overview of DNS may help to better explain these options. DNS works with domains. A domain is an identifier for a computer network connection to the Internet. For example, altn.com identifies the Internet network connection for altn technologies. Within a domain, a domain name identifies a specific machine or virtual machine. For the altn domain, the domain name www.altn.com identifies altn technologies web server. ftp.altn.com identifies altn's FTP server and mail.altn.com specifies Alt-N's email server. DNS, or the Domain Name System, stores information about domain names. These DNS entries include IP addresses and domain names of specific computers. This information allows computers to communicate on the Internet using easy-to-remember domain names by supplying the numeric IP address that the computer requires. A and MX records are two types of DNS records. A records, or address records, associate a domain name with its primary IP address. For example, the A record for altn.com associates with the IP address 65.240.66.0. Here's an example of an A record using the domain altn.com. MX records, or mail exchange records, specify where email to a domain should be directed. A single domain can have multiple email servers listed. Multiple email servers in the MX record can be listed with an order of preference and therefore multiple options for email delivery for one domain may exist. A connecting email server will try each email server listed in a domain's MX record in order of their listed preference starting with the lowest number first. Here's an example of an MX record, again using altn.com as an example. If we use gmail.com as an example, you can see here that multiple entries can exist in a domain's MX record. This brief background information may help explain how mDaemon uses the DNS system when performing lookups and delivering mail. By default, mDaemon will use all DNS servers that have been specified in your Windows TCP IP configuration. mDaemon will query each DNS server once per lookup and in sequence until all DNS servers have been queried or until it finds the first one that works. You can optionally check this box to reload the DNS servers hourly. This setting is disabled by default. You can include additional manually configured DNS servers in the space below. Simply click on the New button and enter the IP address of the DNS server you wish to add. You can change the order of these entries by clicking on an item and using the up and down buttons. You can also remove an entry by highlighting it and clicking this button. The information entered in this field is written to the mdaemon.ini file located inside the mdaemon app directory. Open this file with Notepad and search for the line beginning with DNS servers equals. The hosts file is a Windows file that contains the A record or primary IP address for various manually added domain names. When you install mdaemon, this blank will automatically populate with the path to the hosts file. This path will rarely need to be changed. You can edit the hosts file by clicking on this button. This file will associate an IP address with a host name. Be sure each new entry is properly spaced. Before querying the DNS servers, mDaemon will first attempt to resolve an address by processing this file. If this file contains the IP address of the domain in question, mDaemon will not need to query the DNS server. mDaemon also allows MX hosts to be defined in a locally stored text file for its use. These entries are contained within the mxcache.dat file, which you can access by clicking on Edit MX Cache File. This file can also be found within the mDaemon app directory. The lines highlighted here can be used as a guide for proper formatting of each entry in this file. For each entry, you can specify the domain name, the precedence using lower numbers to designate a higher precedence, the host name, the IP address, and any authentication credentials if needed. If you make any changes to this file, be sure to save it via the file menu.
Be sure to click on Apply and OK to save any changes made to the DNS configuration screen.